Welcome back, everyone, to yet another concussion subseries. Hope everybody is having a great start to 2021. In the spirit of keeping up with the cricketing calendar, which is non India games, we are bringing you today a little preview about West Indies tour of Bangladesh. West Indies are touring Bangladesh for three one day international and two test series. And to talk about the series and everything about West Indies cricket, our guest today is joining us all the way from London. He's a co-founder and host of Carib Cricket, Marshall Hewitt. Welcome to the show, Marshall. Hey, how you doing, guys? Absolute pleasure to be on. Um, looking forward to talking about the trials and tribulations um, of being a West Indies cricket fan and um, the upcoming tour, uh, which is due to get uh, what due to start within a week um, against Bangladesh. Um, what, what I've what I've referred to as the battle for the wooden spoon in world cricket. So, uh, so looking forward to, uh, to talk about it. Great, great. And of course, all of you know Vishak, he's our concussion sub today, who will chip in with a bunch of quiz questions for Michelle uh, later today. Cool. So there's plenty to chat about. Uh, there are a variety of things which we are going to t cover today. But first things first, why don't you give our your background about Carib cricket why was it cricket created and a little bit of more information about who you are Marsh. yeah so i mean i guess it's being a west indies fan in in the uk is a bit of a it's 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 a it's a bit of a misnomer i would say in like in the present day so if you take West Indian, if you take West Indian immigration that started well, started before the fifties, but if you take the major West Indian immigration that starts in the UK about the nineteen late nineteen forties, early nineteen fifties, that generation of West Indians who came over, you would argue, were big cricket fans, and the kind of oral tradition of following the West Indies came with them, was passed down uh, to their children, um, and so for me following the West Indies has been very much a generational thing from my grandfather to, to my father, to me. But as the West Indies decline has happened since what, the mid nineties to now. So what a 20, we're looking at a 25 year decline. The, the transition and that's that oral history has not translated to the new generation. And so what I I'm, I'm 39. So that myself and Santoki, who who started Carib Cricket, we kind of see ourselves as like the a, 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 the last of a dying breed of West Indian fans who are part of the diaspora within the UK, who had it passed down to us from our parents, but we don't see a new generation of fans who may have been born in the UK or who have parents who grew up in the Caribbean. We don't see that generation coming after uh, behind us. And I we just got talking about it and we we kind of felt that particularly within the, the UK media, but maybe also the diaspora media, that there's been such a kind of hold to what the West Indies were. So you talk to your average fan about the West Indies and within about five sentences, they will refer to a great in West Indies cricket. And that's basically from Lara backwards. Um, but in the modern context, yes, okay, we're not a strong team, but there are actually talented players in the in the modern sphere of West Indies cricket. And we just felt that there was a gap missing in the in the media market that accurately focused on what was going on in West Indies cricket. Um, and and I guess when I say within the media market, within the media market to get that out to the diaspora. So a lot of the people who list, so we, so we set up the podcast and I guess a lot of the listeners that we get is we, we don't, we don't get a lot of listeners in the Caribbean. I mean, we get them, but they have the news in the Caribbean. Hmm. A lot of our listeners are actually in the States, in the UK. Um, there are two biggest markets and that would make sense because the biggest Car Carib the biggest Caribbean diaspora outside of the Caribbean is in America or it's in the UK. So we're kind of catering to the, the diaspora market to bring West Indies cricket uh, to them. Well, that, that's the plan anyways. That's good. And I, I particularly love the concept of you keeping the generational knowledge of cricket going because I think that that's a big gap, especially on Wendy's cricket. And we are starting to see that reflecting that on 
fans going to the ground as well. Like if I have to watch a CPL T20 tournament last year, uh, mm-hmm. of course there were no no uh, audience allowed in 2020, but in 2019, uh, yeah. the tournament attracted crowd, but very less young crowd. I think all of them were on television or they, they did not show up on the ground. So it, it's good. Kudos to you guys for starting this. 